What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at types of angles. Let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, so what is it we need to remember today? We need to remember that a complete turn is 360 degrees and an angle is somewhere within that full turn. For example, if I was starting here, looking at my protractor, I could turn all the way around and spin this all the way around and I would turn exactly 360 degrees. But sometimes I don't turn that amount. Sometimes I might turn a smaller amount and I need to work out what that angle is. So luckily we have some names for these angles and I'm going to use my protractor here to help us see where they would be. So if we look at the first one, this angle just here, this angle is an angle that's less than 90 degrees. That means, if, if I'm starting just here, it means it's less than going all the way to the 90, which is this right angle shape just here. So we know it has to be somewhere within this line. So it could be something like this. I could start at the zero, and I could be up here like this. And we mark that turn of angle by putting this little circle shape in the inside of my angle. So it would sit just here. And the name that we call this angle that's anywhere within a section that's not quite 90 degrees, we call this acute. And I remember it by saying it's like a cute little angle, tiny little angle, bless him. But remember, we don't always need to start at the top of our protractor. This acute angle could live anywhere on this full turn. It could be, for example, just here. But importantly, what I have to remember is that it has to be less than 90 degrees. If an angle like the second example is exactly 90 degrees, we have another special name for it. So let's say I'm drawing my angle like this and I'm coming to exactly the 90. We have a special name for this angle. We call it a 90 degrees right angle. And I can show a right angle by putting a little square instead of a circle to mark my angle. And this is called a right angle. And it's exactly 90 degrees. And these are very common. I'm sure you can look around and see lots of right angles now. The next type of angle is an angle that's more than 90 degrees. But importantly, for this, it has to be less than 180 degrees. And the 180 is just here. Zero would be just here. So this means any angle that lives in this semicircle just here. And 90 degrees is just here. So what it means is any angle that lives somewhere between this 90 and 180 section. So it could be an angle that looks like that. And again, we mark this angle by a little semicircle inside my angle. And we can see this is a quite a big angle. This is more than 90 degrees. The 90 degrees would look a little bit like this on that dotted line but it's not quite to 180 degrees, which would be that other line that I'm just drawing. And we call this angle an obtuse angle. And finally, we have one special angle left. We have an angle that starts at zero and goes further than 90, further than 180, and ends up in this section over here. So I could draw my line just like this. And that means that I'm now measuring this large angle that goes around the back here, not this smaller angle inside. So if I had two lines like I have on my example, my semicircle would come all the way around the back here rather than this little section inside. And we call this angle a reflex angle. Now, one thing to bear in mind is if we have two sets of lines, like this example just here, or any of these examples, then I'm actually always going to have two angles that I could measure. I could measure this inside acute angle, or I could measure the outside reflex angle. Or on the second example, I could measure the right angle, or I could measure the reflex. And again, third example, I could measure the obtuse angle, or the reflex. And again, last one, I could measure the reflex, or in this case, I could measure the inside angle, which is an acute angle. So your turn. Can you remember the four names of these angles here? An angle that's less than 90 degrees, an angle that's exactly 90, an angle that's more than 90, but less than 180, and an angle that's more than 180, but less than 360. P 
put your answers in the comment section. I want to try and look at them all. And there you have it, guys. That is the names of our angles. If this video has been helpful, join us at themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos like this specific to your year group. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.